before we start this video please go ahead and smash that like button subscribe because i'm about to give you guys obonge gist yes oh yeah i'm waiting for you subscribe i'm not gonna cut i'm not even going to open my mouth until you have subscribed have you subscribed have you liked this video because you cannot be watching through the window have you liked this video oh yeah if you have liked it sit tight grab your coffee grab your juice grab your popcorn <laughs> let's g this one now bedroom talk eh no be bedroom talk <laughs> I've literally not shared this story with anybody, not even my siblings, my family, my husband. In fact, it's this morning that he called to me and I was asking, I was just trying to, you know, bring him up to speed of what really happened, what really transpired. Let me just pause here and let you guys understand what this video is all about. I know a couple of my friends have asked me, Didi, I've not seen you wear a proper wedding ring, like a proper wedding ring. You can see my fingers now, right? These are not my wedding rings. These are just fashion rings. If you're a Nigerian watching this, you know that when you're married, um, there are two, usually two rings you put on here, the wedding band and the engagement band, there are like two of them. Disclaimer, this is just my personal experience. This is not me advising anybody on what to do in your marriage. I'm not a marriage counselor. Do whatever works for you. Uh, I mean, it, it, just do whatever works for you. I'm not here to advise you on how to run your marriage. I'm not here to tell you what to do. When a you know, similar situation arises, please, 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 nobody should drag my name. But then again, this is my personal experience. So I'm here to share my personal experience with you guys. Like I said, a few of my friends have asked me in the past, Titi, I've never seen you wear a proper wedding ring. And my response is always, I'm like, does that really matter? Okay, now. Let's recap to when I was living in Nigeria or when we were living in Nigeria. My husband was training in FM Sumo here and things were really, really rough for us then. I wasn't working. I was schooling. He was supporting me through my master's and I think then was my master's to be specific. Yeah, we had Mona and Andre then. So when we got married, right, we couldn't afford the proper gold ring. So we bought a set of rings like that from ABBA the you know this gold coated rings and all that they looked nice and all that so it was it was good enough for the wedding so we used the ring those were the rings that the priest blessed and i was wearing my wedding ring like you know proper married lady flaunting my thing and all that i remember my mom saying ah you deserve a proper gold ring one you push you try 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 and buy try and buy proper gold rings so that thing kept on sitting there because my mom was like, this is, this is, this is your wedding ring and something you wear for a very long time. Sometimes you even wear it and wash, wear it and do things in the house. So you don't want to be scared that it will be washing and all that. So I think um, there was a time in our lives when we felt, okay, we are okay to buy. We can't afford the gold ring. So we bought the gold rings. Um, I had mine. I had my own with the stone and then the wedding band and hobby had his own and i was feeling like oh i now have gold rings and all that then it we came to a point in our lives when i'm now going back to when we had kids okay it came to a point in our lives when hobby's job was not he was working you guys in fact if you live in nigeria you understand what i'm actually saying you know where your husband is working as a medical doctor but He's not being paid. Maybe they can even owe him for six months. They were owing them so much that we're not even sure of when the next salary will come. I'm telling you, there was a time. God, I can't believe I'm saying this. There was a time we literally looking for, like we had to meet one of his banker friends to borrow him 5K. That was when 5K meant something, Sha. We were literally looking for borrowing 5,000 Naira. I'm not even joking. But this is something I would never tell my parents. I would never go to them to ask them for any help. They were also supporting us in their own way. But I usually would not go to them. I, wish, I usually would not even tell anybody what I was going through. Like, oh my God, my lips were totally sealed then. So in my own little way, because I wasn't working, I felt, ah, why am I even wearing gold rings when we can't even afford to eat? Oh. I knew that if I told my husband what I wanted to do, he would not agree. 
So guess what? There's a place they call Ishigate in Omaha. If you live in Omaha, you know what I'm talking about. There's a place they call Ishigate. And that place, they sell all sort of things. You see Malam, you see, you know, different things. It's just, this is just an open street where people sell things, where Malams come there to sell jewelries, to do all sorts of things. Um, that's why I go there one day, I carried my rings. I gave it to the Malam. I said, please, weigh this thing and tell me how much it will cost. Yeah, I weighed it. I can't remember how much I sold it. Yeah, it came close to 20,000 or thereabouts. That's how I sold my rings. I'm not even joking. There's some gold earrings my mom gifted me as well. And gold necklace, if I remember. I sold my gold earrings. But I know that I sold most of my gold jewelry. And because I was like, why am I wearing gold jewelry when I can't even eat? But then, because I couldn't voice out to ask for help, I just felt that the best way is just for me to start selling some of the things that were valuable to me, you know. And to be honest, this morning was the first time I ever told my husband I sold my ring. Because before then, before I even sold, I would, in you know me and hobby we were not so particular about oh you must always wear your ring every day so i wasn't wearing my ring every day I, sometimes i'll just you know stay off wearing my ring if i most times i might not wear my ring for like a week or so but when i just want to dress up i'll just carry it and wear so i think that period what really made hobby not to find out is because first of all he was so carried away with a lot of things going on in his life I was struggling there for him to even realize oh my wife is not wearing her ring and again i remember when we later decided to leave the country i think he was asking me baby 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 you didn't go with your ring so i remember telling him that i th i think i've misplaced my ring he actually thought i misplaced my ring because when he was asking me that thing i was like i kept it here but i cannot find it i kept it here but i'm not finding it <laughs> so that's how i sold my ring honestly and because i stayed for that length of time without my ring and then when we came here as well i think somehow somehow hobby self superman not even send he also forgot his own ring in nigeria so that's how we moved to this place and i think it was one with i don't even know honestly i can't even explain his own but i know i know that he also left his ring in nigeria his own gold band okay um, that's how i used the money to solve my problem but i had some school stuff because then you know when you're going to school you always have the lecturer will say especially postgraduate bring this one buy this one buy that buy that so i had a lot piled up i had some fees and all the stuff that i needed to offset that's how i used the money to offset okay. those stuff afterwards because i wasn't so into wearing my wedding band and then we moved to this country perceptions changed i'm not even gonna lie now let me explain marriage rings what am i even saying why am i even calling it marriage rings wedding rings so let's take it back so for me yeah the fact that i stayed for more than two years without actually bothering about replacing my wedding band made me get used to not wearing my wedding band and then we moved to this country hobby also misplaced his own and then we came over to this country my perception about wedding bands changed yes in fact for me i realized that wedding bands are overrated it could be a symbol of being married it could be a symbol of but i just feel like for me you you guys don't quote me wrong i just feel like for me it is overrated i'm not even joking i've been without my wedding band for more than eight years now if we have been married for over 12 years, I have not worn my wedding band for 8 years. It doesn't affect my marriage. My marriage. I'm not talking about your marriage, Joe. It doesn't affect my marriage. It doesn't even affect the way I see my husband. It doesn't affect the way he sees me. It doesn't, it doesn't even change anything, to be honest. In as much as I know recently we've been talking about getting another one, maybe like a diamond or something more valuable. But I'm still not even invested in it because I feel like... I feel like that's just... I don't know i personally feel like what keeps what keeps a marriage for me has to be the heart and god no let me recap what keeps the marriage has to be the heart the two people involved and god you can wear wedding band and anything will still happen you will remove the band and throw it on your partner's face you can wear wedding band and your partner will still cheat on you like i just feel like it's overrated okay it's like oh yeah now you're wearing my ring so because of that you cannot do this no way it's not true it's not true so just for me oh i know i'm married right it i'm not wearing my ring but i still know i'm married that's why i feel like it's overrated i'm not even joking 
and like i said this is not me trying to discourage anybody from wearing their wedding bands please wear your wedding bands i just remembered this and i felt to share my personal experience okay so this morning guys i was in the shower when i was reflecting and i remembered this whole scenario and i went to hobby and i was like baby do you know do you remember my ring like my proper wedding band and when you're asking me where's your wedding band where's your wedding band and that was when i realized i've not even told him because i asked him what did i tell you actually happened to my ring and he said hey you misplaced it now just like mine i said no i actually sold those rings in umwa here <laughs> this man looked at me in shock and he asked me why didn't you tell me i think for me it's because then i know how much he held on to that whole wedding band thing like i knew that it meant a lot to him so i just felt let me just go ahead and solve my problem i beg this man i don't get strength i can't i can't even afford to tell him because i know he will either blow it out of proportion or i don't know just mixed feelings here and there so i told him the same thing that i just felt that he wasn't going to be happy to hear that i sold it and then he looked at me and said now what is scary you get mine do mind and said ah my dear at that time and then he started asking me how much did he sell it you know all those details how he became a bit curious you know i mean what he doesn't know doesn't hurt him right i'm still in the marriage i never wore caliber so whether i wear wedding band or i don't wear wedding band you know concern me for me if i wear my fashion ring i don't work at the go i know saint it still doesn't change the way i feel about my husband it doesn't change the way i see my husband it doesn't change the fact that i have to respect my husband it doesn't change the fact that he has to respect me okay maybe we might get to that stage in life where we we'll come together to actually agree that we still want a wedding band but for now, let me keep enjoying my jewelries, my fashion rings, because I love my fashion rings. <laughs> Hobby has been hounding me since baby, baby, baby. Let's go and get, let's get, let's get. But yes, I know because he is what he likes, I would definitely give him some time. But it has to be something that looks fashionable, not the old old kind of you know all those our normal wedding band no it has to be something like this you know that looks really fashionable to be honest because even if i had those bands now those wedding bands now maybe i know for the wearer i'm not even joking i know for the wearer because ah you could wear that thing anyways this is just me trying to rant i just remember this whole thing i felt to share this story because ah i don't know i don't even know why i felt to share it but like i said i'm happy i shared it <laughs> true confession and again, before I end this video, please, oh, this is a total disclaimer. This is not me telling you to go and sell your wedding band. This is not me telling you not to wear the wedding band that your husband put on your finger. This is not me telling you that wedding bands are bad. The only thing I said, and I will say it again, is that for me and myself, my marriage, wedding bands are overrated. Check it out. And I stand by what I said. If you see me wear wedding band tomorrow, know that maybe I just try, I'm just trying to please my husband. Honestly, that's what it is. So I'm just trying to make my husband happy. Uh, let me wear his ring again. But they are overrated. It's not what keeps me in my marriage. It's not gonna ground me. It's not what's gonna ground me. Or you like it doesn't. It's not too significant for me to be honest. It's not okay. Let me know in the comment section. Do you think wedding bands are overrated? Do you still wear your wedding band? How long have you been married? If you're married, do you still wear the wedding band you wore on the day of your wedding? Or did you change? Some people will say when you change, take it to the priest to bless it and all that. <laughs> I don't know what people believe for me i don't even know what i believe again but like i said without take up to the priest or don't take to the priest it is overrated okay overrated highly overrated for me <laughs> anyway i'll be reading your comment i really want to know i want to know if there is anybody that feels the way i feel i think that's the focus for me i want to know if they or maybe i'm just abnormal or i don't know i've been a c finish i don't know you people should let me know in the comment section okay Yes, this is my own side of story. And also let me know if you guys want to be hearing some, you know, some juicy, juicy things that happened in the past. Story time, story time. <laughs> it was such a chilled one and I really enjoy sitting down here to share this with you guys. I hope this video is short enough because I didn't want it to be so long, okay? Anyways, 
um thank you for watching please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe i will see you in my next video stay fabulous bye Mo. it's my hair self eh? you guys the way i struggle to straighten this every time i want to wear it that's why i don't wear it though anyway oh it's so cold today oh anyway this is just me goofing around oh i don't feel like leaving the camera out i don't feel like standing on because i know if i stand up now walk they wait for me i don't want to go i want to I want to sit down here with you people i don't want to go walk don't carry me go where i don't know <laughs> anyway jesus my friend is calling me bye bye babe